Hey, what's up guys? Today we're building an automatic dice roller. The goal for this project is to allow people with disabilities to roll the dice. But really anybody can use it to play games like Yahtzee, Left Right Center, Dice of War, or even as a teaching tool for math. Dice fit inside a clear plastic snow globe that can twist on and off, making it easy to use. An LED arcade button makes it fun to press, but it also features a jack for AT switches so it's built to work with other assistive tech. Behind the rotating platter is a DC motor and ball bearing. A 9 volt battery powers this circuit and allows the motor to spin whenever the button is pressed. A 3D printed wheel attached to the shaft of the motor rotates an axle under the platter. The inner ring of the ball bearing is mounted to the base while the outer ring is press fitted over the platter. I used Adafruit's Buck Boost power converter as a power supply to make this a portable project. You can get all the parts to build this project from Adafruit, links are in the description. I prototyped this circuit on a breadboard and used the resistor and diode to limit the voltage from the 9 volt battery. This way I can safely drive the motor and LED without giving them too much current. To house all of the electronics, I used Autodesk Fusion 360 to make a case. I designed the enclosure around all the components so everything is precisely fitted. Having all the components modeled in 3D space allows me to design for proper clearances. The parts are designed to be snap fitted together so the assembly should be easy and straightforward. To 3D print the parts, I used an Ultimaker 3D printer. I printed these pieces using different colored PLA and sliced the parts using Cura. I documented this project as a tutorial and published it on the Adafruit Learning System. I've included a wiring diagram and source file so anyone can follow the guide to build this project. I let my 4 year old nephew play with it and just let him figure it out on his own. He came up with some ideas that I wouldn't really have thought about. Here he's pretending it's a racetrack and has these little cars spinning around. I let him play with some d20 dice, but he really doesn't know what they're for yet. He just knows that there's numbers on them and they're different colors, so there's some opportunity here to teach with that. He had a little trouble with the glow, but once he figured it out, he's just started stuffing it with everything just to see how much he could fit. I think kids are great test subjects because they'll quickly find design flaws and just go straight to the limitations. Working on this build has inspired me to start making projects more accessible. Implementing AT jacks in your builds is a great way to start. If you find this project useful, you can share it with your community and consider subscribing for more DIY projects from Adafruit.